From iconic movie stars to superheroes, Mortal Kombat 1's first combat pack is bringing a fusion of worlds. So let's dive in. Today we're unveiling the characters of Mortal Kombat 1's first combat pack. We'll have a look into the rich backgrounds, unique abilities, and the roles within the Mortal Kombat universe. But before we begin, make sure to hit both the like button and the subscribe bell to stay connected throughout all our Mortal Kombat coverage. By liking our videos, you show support and help us reach a wider audience. Subscribing to our channel ensures that you never miss out on any of our exciting content. It is a great way to stay connected and be the first to know about our latest videos and updates. By liking our video, you show your support and help us reach a wider audience. Subscribing to our channel ensures that you never miss out on any of our exciting content. It's a great way to stay connected and be the first to know about our latest videos and updates. For 30 years, Mortal Kombat has held a special place in the hearts of gamers. Renowned for its mix of characters from generic ninjas to actual gods and robots, the combat packs have always been a hot topic, blending unexpected newcomers with iconic figures from the series. While some fans expressed disappointment over guest characters taking spots that could have been filled by original Mortal Kombat fighters, Others relish the opportunity to play as beloved characters from different media. Mortal Kombat has a rich tradition of introducing characters from various universes, blending fantasy with reality. In this section, we'll explore the guest characters from popular media, understanding their origins, and what they bring to the Mortal Kombat universe. The first character revealed in Mortal Kombat 1's combat pack is Omni-Man. The powerful alien Viltrumite from Invincible has a dual persona, being both protector and a conqueror. Since he's Viltrumite, he has perks like insane strength, speed, and flight, plus a knack for a quick recovery. His strength and flight abilities will be a game changer in the battles. But just as we're wrapping our heads around the sheer power Omni-Man could bring to the arena, another intriguing character steps into the spotlight. The second guest character revealed is Peacemaker, from the Suicide Squad movies, as well as the Max series. The vigilante seeks peace, even if it means using violence. His combat skills and unwavering dedication, and the fact that he's played by John Cena, make him a cool addition to Mortal Kombat. Just as Peacemaker's dedication to the cause is unwavering, another character emerges with an equally unyielding commitment to his own twisted sense of justice. The final character revealed in the trailer is Homelander, originating from The Boys. He's a superhero with unmatched powers and a twisted sense of justice. His laser vision and super strength will surely bring a new dynamic to fights. But while Homelander's abilities are undeniably impressive, the inclusion of both Omni-Man and Homelander has raised questions among fans. There's been apprehension among fans about the inclusion of two dark Superman figures. However, when we delve deeper into the unique abilities, it becomes evident that they could offer two distinct gameplay experiences. Homelander's laser vision, for instance, provides a unique range attack, enabling players to target from afar, potentially delving significant damage or disrupting opponents' moves. The skills could be pivotal for zoning strategies, keeping foes at a distance. Meanwhile, Omni-Man, with his Viltrumite lineage, might bring to the table enhanced strength and durability, positioning him as a dominant close quarters combatant. Also, his extended lifespan could be incorporated into the game as a recovery option, similar to previous guest characters like Friday the 13th's Jason Voorhees. While both characters have flight and immense strength, Omni-Man's brutal combat style, rooted in his imperialistic origins, might stand in stark contrast to Homelander's more strategic and distanced approach. As players navigate these nuances, they'll find themselves constantly adapting their tactics, ensuring a gameplay experience that remains both diverse and captivating. But while these new additions bring fresh dynamics, it's essential not to forget the roots of Mortal Kombat. Every Mortal Kombat fan has their favorite character, those iconic fighters that define the series. In this segment, we'll revisit some of the returning veterans, delving into their histories and the evolution of their roles within the game's lore. As we delve into the histories and evolution of these characters, each one stands out, sparking curiosity among fans. Ermac is the first Mortal Kombat character revealed for this combat pack. Born from countless souls, his telekinetic powers offer a unique approach to combat, allowing him to control battles from a distance and making an unpredictable force in the arena. With the series undergoing a reboot in Mortal Kombat 1, fans are eagerly waiting to see if this version of Ermac hails from the previous timeline or if he's a fresh iteration from Liu Kang's new era. The sense of anticipation doesn't end with Ermac. Next up is Quan Chi, the Netherrealm Sorcerer. Renowned for his necromancy and manipulation, he has been a pivotal character in many Mortal Kombat storylines. Drawing parallels with Ermac's situation, fans are eagerly curious. Will we see Quan Chi from the previous timeline, or is he another character reborn in Liu Kang's new era of the rebooted Mortal Kombat 1? But the curiosity doesn't end there. Enter Takeda, traditionally recognized as Kenshi's son in Scorpion's Apprentice. Takeda's combat style is a blend of telekinetic prowess and ninjutsu, further enhanced by bladed whip spears. But with Mortal Kombat 1 presenting a seemingly younger Kenshi and the notable absence of Hanzo Hasashi's scorpion, fans are left in suspense. 
Could this Takeda be reimagined as a younger sibling, a distant relative, or perhaps the Kenshi we know from an alternate timeline? While his combat abilities remain a constant, the nature of his bond with Kenshi is still a mystery, echoing the mysteries surrounding characters like Ermac and Quan Chi. Beyond the primary fighters, Mortal Kombat 1 is set to introduce the innovative cameo character mechanic. Cameos are unique partner characters, separate from the main roster, designed to assist and complement the primary fighters during matches. They bring their own set of special abilities and moves, enhancing gameplay dynamics. Some of these cameos might even make an appearance in the story mode, adding more layers to Mortal Kombat 1's new lore. An official email from Warner Brothers UK in July revealed Combat Pack 1's cameos, and fans have been buzzing with anticipation ever since. As we deep dive into these names, one can't help but wonder about the potential chaos that could unleash in the Mortal Kombat universe. Leading the cameo lineup is the 3D era character Movado, recognized from his days with the Red Dragon Clan in the Mortal Kombat series. Movado's signature hook swords are iconic. Should these weapons make a return in this cameo role, they could offer a unique combat dynamic. Paired with his acrobatic fighting style, Movado might just become the distinctive and challenging adversary, redefining battles in the Mortal Kombat universe. But while Movado's hook swords and agility could bring a fresh combat style, there's another cameo character whose essential powers might shake things up even more. Enter Tremor, whose geokinetic abilities could drastically influence gameplay dynamics. His powers to manipulate the earth allow him to create earthquakes, from rock projectiles and even encasing himself in stone armor for defense. These abilities could offer a mix of offensive and defensive strategies, making battles with Tremor unpredictable and challenging. And just as Movado's ties to the Red Dragon Clan add depth to his character, Tremor's past with the same clan and figures like Kano enriches his backstory. However, beyond these affiliations, it's Tremor's earth-controlling powers that are poised to stand out in the gameplay. As players navigate Tremor's earth-controlling capabilities, which are primed to be highlighted in gameplay, they might also get a chance to explore the depths of his character and his Black Dragon ties, especially if this cameo role is woven into the story mode. Similarly, another character with a rich backstory making a cameo appearance is the Hollywood sensation Johnny Cage. Known for his flashy moves and undeniable charisma, Johnny has always been a fan favorite, but there's more to Johnny than meets the eye. The Johnny Cage cameo will also include a Jean-Claude Van Damme character skin, but this is not just a random addition, it's not to the origins of Mortal Kombat. The game was initially conceived as a fighting game starring Van Damme. Although that project didn't materialize, one of the game's most iconic characters, Johnny Cage, was inspired by Van Damme particularly his role in the movie Bloodsport. This character skin is a homage to the actor and his unintentional contribution to the Mortal Kombat saga. Just as Johnny's character skin tells a tale of the game's origins, other cameo characters bring their own rich histories to the table. Enter Chameleon, another intriguing cameo fighter in the game. In the original timeline, Chameleon stood as the last living female in the Saurian race, driven by a thirst for vengeance against Shao Kahn for the annihilation of her people. Her interactions with Reptile were always a point of interest, with Reptile being recently announced in this rebooted timeline, one can't help but wonder, will Chameleon's tragic past and her quest for revenge be explored in this reboot? The intertwining of these characters' stories showcase the depth and intricacy of the Mortal Kombat universe. Segwaying from the 3D era, the last cameo we received confirmation on is Farah from the symbiotic duo of Farah and Tor. In Mortal Kombat X, Farah the Rider and Tor the Mount share a deep bond. In Mortal Kombat X's ending, we witness the life cycle of these symbiotes with Tord's death and Farah transforming into a behemoth mount for a new rider. The question still remains, will we see Farah the rider or Farah the mount in Mortal Kombat 1? Their dynamic and the mystery of their species adds depth to the Mortal Kombat lore, and the anticipation for the return is palpable. The Combat Pack 1 DLC promises a blend of worlds, merging Mortal Kombat lore with popular media characters. The fusion ensures a fresh experience for both veterans and newcomers. The diverse lineup of Combat Pack 1 showcases Mortal Kombat's commitment to innovation, blending its rich history with new narratives. We'd love to hear your thoughts and theories on this topic in the comments, and connect with us at RealmGast and at Mortal Kombat Meme Realm. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more deep dives into the world of Mortal Kombat. Thank you for tuning in, combatants. Until next time, remember, every warrior has a story, and every saga a lesson.